What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. I caught up with Alex this morning to learn about everything we've missed in the Counseling Center. Let's check it out. I'm here with Alex to talk about everything we've been missing and some things he wants to talk about. So take it away. Okay, so um, first thing I want to talk to all students. Um, and, you know, some of you might not be seeing this, but if you are, make sure that you're getting on Schoology and checking what you have to do and at least making some effort to turn in assignments and stuff like that because there's still a handful of students out there that I think you think that since we're not in school, you don't have to do school, and that is far from the truth. You have to do school. You have to get on your computer, and you have to um, do some things for your for your teachers. You know, they have some things that they, they need you to get in. They have some well, – most of it is not at, to the extent of what it would be to – um, be in the classroom. So you just need to do that. And then those students that are on directed studies that were making credit recovery and stuff, you guys need to kind of kick it in the gear and work on that as well. So you have a lot of stuff that you can be working on. Um, Washburn Tech kids, you also have assignments through the internet for Washburn Tech. So make sure you're checking your Washburn email um, for that. So um, just make sure you are you're got a plan and you're you know, it's better if you have some kind of a schedule and not just staying up all night and then sleep until two or three in the afternoon and then saying, oh, I could do school work, but I'll play video games instead or I'll binge watch something. So you need to do something, you know, because it won't be very many years. You'll be out on your own in college or in work and you'll have to have a schedule. So this is a good way to do a little bit of adulting on your own. So that's the first thing. Second thing, seniors that you had grad products, I know they're delivered right before we ended for spring break. We still have about four huge boxes. Most of you have already paid for them. Um, and I was in contact with Justin's and they're going to do, uh, you know, either an insert card um, that will change the date, you know, for you, for the, your announcements, if you did order announcements and we'll, we'll iron out the details how to get those to you. But also I believe this week they're gonna come pick all those up and they're gonna mail them to your house. So you'll be getting those in the mail and then capping downs we'll hold on to until um, we have practice that Friday before graduation. So I think it's, it's July 31st and before graduation on Sunday, August 2nd. So we'll hold on to that stuff till then. So from the counseling department, we still have office hours. Even if you don't have any problems, you can pop in and say hi to us. We would love to see you. Um, other than that, that's all I got. Awesome. Thank you, Alex. The counselor's office hours are posted. If you just need to talk, make sure and check those out. At this time, gatherings in the SHS parking lot or on school grounds are not permitted. Make sure and stay home and stay safe. Sophomores, if you want to be a part of the Viking Crew Mentor Program, there's an application process posted on your Schoology page. Prom and graduation are still happening. The dates and times have been posted to Schoology. Now over to Josh with the weather. Hey. I'm gonna go home and watch some Disney Plus. See you tomorrow. Be safe, there's supposed to be a nasty storm. We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this, a much...
afternoon. What a crazy weekend we had. Let's take you through it by the numbers. Our maximum temperature was 80 degrees on Saturday. Of course, nowhere near that yesterday. And we had 58 hundredths of an inch of precipitation between both Saturday and Sunday at the Billard Airport. On Sunday, our winds really increased. A gust of 49 miles per hour out of the northwest. And that put wind chills down to 20 degrees. That's how it felt outside by late Sunday evening. So what a drastic change in the weather pattern and then what the numbers do not tell is the storm that came through this was saturday evening and we have a beautiful shot here from adam schultz of the first severe thunderstorm in shawnee county as that sun was setting just the gorgeous shot there and then once that storm rolled through it produced some large hail in spots this is from james bechtel you can see hail larger than quarter size in southern parts of the Seaman District. And there's another shot there. So that can cause some car damage. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. And then on Easter Sunday, as we told you last week, a major severe weather outbreak did unfortunately unfold across the southeastern United States. Check out this. The tornado reports 50 tornado reports yesterday unfortunately it was a deadly situation as well with numerous fatalities already reported at the time of recording this video but definitely a dangerous and memorable day yesterday across the southeastern united states back at home we have another freeze warning to talk about this goes into effect at 11 o'clock this evening and continues until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning our forecast low, 27 degrees, so get ready. It's going to be another cold start for your Tuesday. Cover any plants that you may have and want to keep alive. Here's the other story on Tuesday is the rain. By 7 o'clock, there could be a few isolated showers. It's especially going to be in southeastern Kansas, but there might be a couple that make it as far north as the kansas turnpike or so so we'll have to watch that tomorrow a slightly better chance of rain arriving about the same time on wednesday as a cold front comes through you can see once again a few showers right along i-70 on wednesday and checking out the svtv seven day forecast you can see that most of these days here tuesday and wednesday will be dry it's just a slight chance of showers in the late afternoon and early evening hours slightly warmer by wednesday 58 degrees thursday is our best chance of rain this week a high of 50 but notice we get down close to freezing thursday night that could change that could change some of the precipitation over to snow it's gone by friday 51 and we start to recover next weekend with highs back in the 60s now ally Back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. I'll see you next week.